right, here we go. Just give you a update on our our project. So, and then we'll get a look at my chute over there. So this is a processing barn. Our pad for it. It we may not build the barn for a while, probably throughout the year we actually have to finish our pins first because as we take the lumber down those are all good two by sixes and we're just going to build this as a wood frame building and then i've got metal up on another deal that i'm just going to use it as the walls because i got to tear a house down it's got a brand new roof on it and the metal for the roof i've got to put a new roof on my house and so we'll order extra metal for that so this is this is kind of to finish this project i have to finish all my other projects so that's kind of a good thing because i really want a processing barn but i need to get all my other stuff done and this would be a good reason to do it um you can you can kind of see this area there what that is is you know there's not enough concrete in two trucks that's an actual steel keyway through there and i didn't we didn't float this uh number one because we didn't want a real slick finish we wanted kind of a rougher texture which we're gonna we're gonna get um that and once you get once you get on that side we poured this side first and once you get on that side as you're screeding that concrete there's your screed is is running into this side that you've already done and so and then when we got to there we pulled the actual board out and we didn't we only had key weight there i ran out thought i had enough and nobody carries it locally so oh well but this is actually that's going to be right down the center of my alleyway and that's all going to get covered in uh what the hell like rubber matting anyway so it's not not kind of a big deal as far as the barn goes we'll just drill drill anchors through here epoxy them in for our two by six walls uh the barn isn't centered so it'll actually have a longer roof on this side and then a short roof and the reason for that is is we want the peak right over the working area that way all the smoke goes to the very center and we'll have fans up top. And we want it a little wider on this side. That way we get shelves and refrigerators on this side. And those alleyways I have have gates on this side. So if you want to dump cattle out of your alleyway, you can open the gate. And there's plenty of room to get them out and around. But yeah, so this... We got this done, and to be quite honest with you, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't bad, it wasn't, wasn't hard to do. It's just, we've had so much, so many projects going on, and we're just trying to, just trying to get finished, and we were in a really big hurry to get it, so we could put that on there, and hopefully have that on there Monday, and... We'll have to have the REA come out with a, a winch truck to set it because the concrete won't be cured enough at all for driving a tractor on it. But we could set it down and it'll be just fine. Uh, it's just, we've just had so much going on and I'm glad it's done. It. I need the construction projects to be done so I can focus on the cattle and yeah the cattle like i've i've got you know i need to be focusing on them more than we have been you know it's all day job anyway just taking care of them and then when you start trying to throw big construction projects in the middle of it it just there's literally not enough time in the day at all um so i'll get my pins finished and then i can tear down the wood and and go from there uh, this is my chute. It's a Filson. I actually put a picture of this up on Instagram the other day, and like one of the first things, like, "Oh, you should show. You should have bought a silencer." Well, you know, 
Somebody inform me. They can. I'm oh, sorry about the f-bombs. I'm. I've, it's. I've had enough. I've had a. I've had a long day. But uh, I've looked at silencers, and they're really. They look really great. A lot of people have them. My vet actually is really opposed to them. Uh, both our vets. They. They don't think they're built heavy enough, and they think the the newer ones, or they, you know, the older ones are fine. But they said the new ones that they've on places they've been to, they're just they seem thinner. They're not, they don't seem as heavy, and they actually don't like them at all. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason, that's cool. You know, I, all right, um, I don't have a problem with that. This thing is a lot like the shoot that we already had. Real heavy, I mean, it's heavy built and doesn't have the silencer price tag. Uh, this thing was expensive though, it wasn't much less. It was 15.5 the way it's set up. But this was, I looked at a lot of different shoots, and this is my this is my must right here. Um, you know, there's a lot of them that just kick them over, which that's great. Uh, but I think for dehorning the calves. To grab their neck and shove it out so we can sear the horns. I think that's that's my big my big deal. And these actually have some springs in them. So it's not just clamping on them too hard. Uh had this put on because I'm gonna have probably my dad's just gonna run it and I'm gonna do all the other work. And it can come out to here. But that way, you know, most of these shoots, all the levers are right here. And so you got to hold your arms up all day and, you know, that burns your shoulders. It's kind of like having your hands handcuffed behind your back for six hours. After a while, it gets really uncomfortable. So, you know, make it comfortable. And that's got a little leg kicks over here. And uh, this was a custom thing that we wanted. That way we can get to the shoulder real easy to brand. Because we have a shoulder brand on all our feeder cattle. Uh, but yeah, and then we have this because it's like on the other side. The other side folds down, so we did this as a custom where that door comes out. That way we can band them and do that. It, we're going to try it and see if it's easier to get to that way. Uh, it's got the palp cage on it for the vet, so I can take, I took mine out, so they can, you know, ask them on a date. And then this, which I, you know, surely I'll, I don't know what, if I'll ever need this. This is uh, just a pipe that they had on here, so it... And so that they can't back up I guess I don't know I I don't I guess it's handy to have on there and I, I don't know that I'll ever need it <laughs> there we go um, but you know I guess that way you, if you do need a pipe you're not searching for a pipe for some reason or you can do that so Maybe it don't, it doesn't back up and crush the vet while they're dealing. Um, it's hydraulically adjustable at the bottom for in and out. It does, it does squeeze like a V, which I'd show you, but one hand has to hold the camera. I, the one thing I really liked about silencers, it came in, both of them came in sideways. You know, they, they both... They both squeezed in like that. You know, it wasn't like this because that's how this one is. Um, I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. I did get... I got a little brisket bar, rider bar on it. I don't know if I'll use it. Probably. But, yeah. So, it's my hydraulic chute that I got to pay for now. Uh, it's... Just kind of showing everybody. Hopefully I can use it Tuesday. 
that's my big hope. Um, and here it's Filson. And they're actually not very far from us. They're up by Dodge City. Uh, south of Dodge City, about 60 miles, I guess. So, that's not too bad. Come over here and check our little critters. We got, got them all set up. I still have these held on with wire. Like, I, I need to finish my damn projects. Uh, but, uh, they're, they're liking it. So these ones are on feed and hay, and those ones are still just on hay. Um, these cattle needed to have been out of this barn a week ago. Um, one thing we found, uh, if you hold them in a barn like this too long, they'll actually, you know, they'll actually start getting, like, sick. Seems like they they start, you know, getting sick again if they're in here too long. In here about two weeks, they look fantastic. You leave them in here longer than that, um, you start seeing ones getting sick that shouldn't be getting sick. And I don't like, whether it's because they're not getting exercise or... I don't know, I could, I could just be making shit up. I don't know what I'm talking about. But these cattle needed to be out of here anyway, just to make room for more. And so, I have a broom for this, but that's what I'm doing. We got to get our chute done. So we have actually been having to rope calves and doctor them that way, which sucks. It's not fun. It puts way more stress on them than you need to. And I'm not one of those people who's all wound up about low stress. Um, but, you know, when your calf sitting there high fever, it does not help to rope them. So, as you can see, this dickweed still has a rope around him. Um, we doctored him. He was the last one we doctored today. And he had everybody on the fence the entire time. So, just uh, didn't have time to take him to a different place where we have another chute. Uh, roped him, wrapped it around a pipe. Pulled them up tight and then swung a gate and squeezed them. And we doctored them that way and almost had the gate off or the rope off, but not quite. So, you know, that's it is what it is, I guess. But I'm very, very happy to have that concrete poured so I can get my chute in place and go on with life. And I can just start back to just focusing on cattle because I am, I'm getting to be a grumpy bastard. I just, just not in a good mood. I've, I've got too much going on. So, but I got to get things done. So those calves there should be down in that pen where we poured that concrete. But they're up in here eating on that until we, uh, until that concrete around that stock tank dries up enough where it's not, they can walk on it. So I poured my excess around the tank. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where life is at right now. But I'm getting on to. I started the equipment videos yesterday. I got half of one done. Got to get the rest of it done. So if you have any any questions or anything like that, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for your time.